What's up YouTube, it's Danny James back here again and today we have another tutorial and what I want to focus on is the pen tool and when using it to make a tracking or a selection of a subject or an area. I want to go through this because it's a very overlooked side of the editing which is very important. It has a steep learning curve but once you get used to it and make deliberate practice, you practice on a couple of areas, you'll get so used to it. With that, I have footage on my timeline and I have a subject against background and I want us to make a selection of the subject using the pen tool. For you to start making a mask, you have to go to the effect controls tab and make sure you have highlighted on the clip so that you can have access on the effect controls tab. And if you cannot find the effects control tab, go to windows and make sure effect controls is enabled. Right here, there is a free draw bezier can be found right here on your, on your tools sections. Whereby you have the selection tool and other tools, the razor tool, and you have this pen tool. In this case, we want to start making a mask. Click on this free draw bezier and immediately a tab with masking properties enabled. And you can hit full screen to start. You can double click right here on your program window to have full screen. And as soon as you, you can you see this black pen, it means that you can start making a selection of where to make a mask. As you go on to make other points, you might want to zoom in quite a bit. And right here and in the feet, there are a few percentages of how much you can zoom in or out of your clip. What I want to do, let's make a that second point and a third and a fourth. Some of these basics that I want us to look at is how you can change the position of these and how you can influence the trajectory of these bezier. So right here, with this arrow, whenever I have this arrow which has a circular thing like an ellipse, it means that I can move that point towards where I want. I can take it back if I want. I can raise it here. I can take it somewhere here. That's what it means. If you zoom in closely or if you can see, there are usually two circles which are together with every point whereby you, you make a selection with the pen tool. What that means, let me undo this. If I come right here, I can click and instead of releasing, I can hold. If I hold, I'm able to choose how my anchor point sticks and how it, it can influence the next one. If I do like this and let it go, and then come to make a second point I have this thing going on and I have a very smooth trajectory happening here if I feel I have left out something or I need to add more you can always come to these points these points help you to be more specific on how you want your software to read the mask like that having done this one it has made an influence on this one and I'll hold alt on my keyboard so that I can get the bezier for that area. You see like that? That's what it, you are able to do when, and let's go on and make a selection of this subject. Right now I have, I seem to have messed my tracking or my anchor points and it's something which can be fixed. I can come back here and drop this anchor point to this area. If I grab this area, I have the, I have the ability to influence where this anchor point comes from and I seem to have something accurate. We can continue making a selection. I'm holding Alt whenever I want to also change the out, the lines, how they come. And like somewhere like right here, I'll hold Alt and influence the position of this. Then I'm also coming back to this one right here. And it's very easy. If you need to make a small curve, always click, don't release it and drag and make these anchor points shape up in the way that you want. You have more control than you think of. Like right here, I'll come back and I'll drop down this so that I'm able to do that. And I'll also bring back this anchor point and make more adjustments, just like that. I feel it's like a very easy thing 
which really requires a lot of practice and if you don't do the practice or have a way to learn it it might take a bit and that's why i thought of doing this video see like right here i'll click and drag so that i get the curve right above here i'll get something very like that and when i'm coming to the next anchor point it might give me a few issues but it can be resolved by holding alt and then taking this point here I was trying to do the same so if we came right here okay if I made one more adjustment and I without holding any button on my keyboard I went to manually fix this point it would influence the other side also you see but if I don't do that and instead hold alt on my keyboard you see like right now I have this pen tool and I'll come right here, it changes to this other pen tool which has an ellipse behind it, meaning that I can grab this point. But instead of just going directly on this and doing this, I can have more control by holding Alt on my keyboard and it changes to this particular shape. I can drag this back and it doesn't make any difference on the other side. It leaves everything intact and the only place that I'm making a change is right here. So that's something else that you should know. That's why I prefer to use my Alt key whenever I can. And when I'm through, you go all around this subject and reconnect this to. I can go back to a fit and now we have a mask of the subject and it has these properties. And that's it from today. I wanted to show you a few basic techniques when using the free draw bezier aka the pen tool and i hope you've learned a thing or two from it thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up and i hope to see you in the next video peace